These are the top five beauty queens turned narcos novias of Mexico's drug cartels. As their husbands, brothers, and boyfriends are taken out in the ongoing drug wars, these ruthless beauty queens are stepping up to take control of the finances and operations of some of the world's most powerful drug cartels. Number one, the Narco Queen. Known as the Narco Queen and the Queen of Cocaine, Angie Senslamente Valencia served only six years in prison for drug trafficking and racketeering. Valencia is among a growing number of Narcos Novias who are breaking out of the shadow of their kingpin boyfriends and cracking the glass ceiling of Mexico's criminal underworld. A former Colombian lingerie model and international queen of coffee, Valencia was the ringleader and one of the largest drug trafficking rings ever discovered. After breaking up with the Mexican kingpin El Monstruo, Valencia moved to Argentina where she recruited former models to an all-female drug smuggling gang. Angie's Angels dominated cocaine trafficking routes between Mexico and Europe until Valencia's arrest in 2011. Number 2. Crown Miss Sinaloa in 2008, Zuninga is known throughout Mexico as Miss Narco. Zuninga was arrested for drug running on behalf of her boyfriend, Angel Orlando Garcia Uquiza, a leader of the Juarez cartel. The critically acclaimed 2011 film Miss Bala is loosely based on Zuinga and her involvement in the events of December 2008. In December of the same year, Laura Zuinga was arrested in Jalisco along with seven men who allegedly carried $53,000 in cash, two AR-15 rifles, three handguns, 633 cartridges of different calibers and 16 cell phones. In her initial statement, Zuinga declared that she had been on her way to party in Guadalajara and that she and her boyfriend were going shopping in Colombia and Bolivia. Zuinga declared that she had been kidnapped by her boyfriend. Despite it all, Zuinga was sentenced to 40 days after her arrest, but was later released from the detention center in January of 2009, after a judge found no evidence that tied her to any of the criminal activity. Number 3. Juliana Sosa, otherwise known as the Narco Novia of Kingpin Jorge Balderas Garza, or LJJ. The couple was arrested in 2011 for shooting Paraguayan soccer star Salvador Cabinas. Authorities were led to them as they received tips from social networks. A former Colombian beauty pageant winner's Facebook page directed the Mexican police to exactly where Sosa and her boyfriend were laying low. Sosa was later released on a lack of evidence. Number four, Sandra Avila Beltran. Beltran, known as the Queen of the Pacific, is probably the highest profile female drug trafficker in Mexico. Family connections have played a major role in her criminal career, in fact, making her a third generation drug trafficker in her family. She reportedly had affairs with several well-known drug barons in her youth. She was married twice. Both of her husbands were ex-police commanders who became drug traffickers and sadly, both were later killed by hired assassins. In 2002, however, she unexpectedly contacted authorities for help when her teenage son was kidnapped for a $5 million ransom. She eventually got her son back, but not without raising suspicion that launched an investigation. It took more than four years and 30 federal agents to close in and finally arrest Avila. She is thought to have controlled the lucrative smuggling trade between the Sinola cartel and Colombian suppliers until her arrest in 2007. She remains in prison where she reportedly receives Botox injections and other beauty treatments. Number five. Anadina Arellano Felix is a Mexican drug lord who, alongside her brothers, founded the Tijuana Cartel and played a role as a logistical accountant for the criminal organization. Throughout most of the 1990s, the Tijuana Cartel was headed by her six brothers, while Adina advised and helped them in money laundering and financial administration. But after the fall of a financial mastermind in the cartel in the year 2000, Adina took up the position. She first started working behind the scenes as a money launderer for the Tijuana cartel, but then ended up leading the cartel after the arrest of her brother in 2008. Wildly thought to be the most powerful woman in Mexico's drug smuggling business, she took the reins and has diversified the family's business to include hotels and real estate. Her current whereabouts are still unknown.